In this video, I will show you how to change the logo of your website. Okay, so we want to change that logo on the left side. So you will see there is two different logo. One is a regular logo. And when you scroll down the website, you will see there is another logo, which is the mini logo. So to change the logo, you're gonna go to the WordPress dashboard. Then you go to um, theme options, logos. Here you have a couple of settings that you can change. First one is the option to have a logo or not displayed on your website. And you have two different sets of uh, logo. You have the dark version and the and a light version. Okay, the Retina version of your logo is uh, basically an HD version uh, of your logo. And it's used only on the um, new devices that support Retina displays. So it's a good idea to use one. It's basically the same version of your uh, regular logo, but it should be twice as larger than your uh, regular logo. If your uh, regular logo is 100 per 100, your uh, Retina logo is gonna be 200 per 200. The recommended size for or dimension for your logo, uh, for the regular logo, is uh, 200 pixel width. And for the original logo, it's gonna be 400 pixel width. The 8 will be adjust automatically. And below, you have the option to choose which logo you want to use across your site, either the light version or the dark version. You have also the option to choose a logo for your responsive menu, such as your mobile device or a tablet. First thing I'm gonna do is to remove all the existing logo to replace by new ones. So you can choose, uh, you can upload your logo version in both. So I choose uh, four of my logos and let me show up here. I'm gonna select the dark regular logo. As you can see, it's 201 pixel width. And I'm gonna select the retina logo as well. So as you can see here, the retina version is 401 pixel width. So it's twice larger than my regular one. All right, so I'm gonna upload my uh, light version of my logo. Okay, and here I will hit the save changes. Then I'm going to the front end of the website. I refresh the page and I, I like to uh, clear the cache of my browser uh, to make sure all the changes uh, have been applied. So here we go. I have the regular logo and when I scroll down, I have the mini logo. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to change that uh, mini logo. I'm gonna scroll down the website. Remember that the mini logo is optional, so if you don't put a mini logo, uh, your regular logo will show up. The dimension for that mini logo is around uh, 100 per 100 pixel, and it will adjust the size automatically uh, when you upload it. So don't worry about the size, but try to, to upload a, a file that um, is around 100 per 100 pixel. And that's it. I refresh the page. I clear the browser cache. And here we go. The mini logo is showing up. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to change the logo for the responsive mode. So when people visiting your website on mobile, they see another version of uh, the logo, which is optional as well. So if you resize your browser window, you will see that uh, mobile uh, logo here. So to change it, it's very simple. You 
go back to your WordPress dashboard and change the logo on responsive menu. And you're done. You can resize the browser window to see the change. Thanks for watching.